should have stayed out of this. You have a lot to explain for. After all the terrible things you've done? All that is in the past. I'll not be defending my actions to you. But don't I deserve it? You were like a father to me. Uh, enough, child. I am here for the book. Jeebel has the book. What are you talking about? If you don't already know, then let us keep it that way. Alfred, how are you still alive? Ugh, what were you thinking in coming here? You can answer my question first. All that matters is that I am alive. Did you come here for the book? Book? The Liber Logiath? Make no mistake. I won't let anyone touch that tome but me. Not even you should touch it. Didn't what happened ten years ago teach you anything? I don't have time to argue with you. I just hope you are wise enough not to get in my way. Uh, what? You know full well my power exceeds yours. Take Miriam and leave this place. Otherwise, you will die. I came here because something didn't feel right. But I didn't expect him. Johannes, what is the Lee below Gaiath? It's... it's a book the Alchemy Guild once possessed that allows for the summoning of spirits. The Guild used it to bring about the Calamity ten years ago. 
and the Shardbinder's crystal acted as a kind of catalyst. A book like that shouldn't even exist. I know. Alfred must be trying to restore the Alchemy Guild to power, but we cannot let him lay hands on the Liber Logaith. He said Cheeple had it. You know, I think I might have seen it. It makes sense, considering the situation we're in. He must have gotten his hands on it after surviving the sacrifice. So now I have to stop Alfred, too. No, let's focus on Jeebel. If we can get to him and the book before Alfred does, we'll kill two birds with one stone. Good point. All right. Dominique might know what to do about Alfred in the meantime. I'll head back to the village and see what she has to say.
Those monsters came out of nowhere. We ran for dear life. Where are the others? Dead, most of them. My dear husband included. <sighs> Those devils have to pay. Those murderers. You look strong, miss. I'm begging you. Help me. If it's within my power. Oh, thank you. My name's Lindsay. What's yours? Miriam. Well, Miriam, I'll gather whatever information I can about the monsters that wronged us. I want you to hunt down the monsters and take vengeance on them. The efforts won't go unrewarded, I promise you that. All right. I'll do it. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Help my husband rest in peace. Kill that murderer dead! I do for you? What are you looking to buy? Is this right? Then we have a deal. Thank you. Come back anytime. Hi, Miriam. So, what'll it be? this. I'll go with this. Ooh, I like it. Johannes, can you tell me more about what happened ten years ago? It started when the interests of the rich shifted away from the spiritual and esoteric in favor of more material investments. The Alchemists' research was expensive. The Guild members didn't want to lose their wealthy patrons, so they warned again and again that demons would come if people let go of their spirituality. But people don't change that easily. So the Alchemists took a more drastic measure. You mean us? The Shardbinders? Yes. It shames me that I was even connected to what they did. But at least you have the facts of it. It's all right. Thank you for telling me.
Stop right there. Huh? I knew what you are. That ghastly air about you. You reek of sorcery, Shardbinder. Ah. And what am I to make of you? Me? I am your executioner. <laughs> At once, Zangetsu. Ah, uh, here we go. How many times do I have to tell you? Our enemies are the demons and those in league with them. And I say, what is the difference? The alchemists were the gunmen, the shardbinders the gun. All must be dismantled. In the case of the alchemists, you are right. They coveted the powers of hell and must pay for it. But Miriam is not like them. She is fighting for us, at great personal risk. Really? You forget how many of our friends perished for similarly misplacing their faith. And do I look as weak? Look closer. <laughs> I was bored with her anyway. Do your job, Zangetsu. You need to put a stop to Alfred. And I will. But you listen to me, Shardbinder. If you value your life, then stay out of my sight. You can hold me to my word, Dominique. But don't presume to tell me what else I can or cannot do. <sighs> I apologize for my acquaintance. 
He had no right to speak to you like that. Pay it no mind. I've been through worse. I want you to know that I trust you, Miriam, and nothing anyone says could ever sway that trust. Ah, oh, well, you have my thanks. It's nice to know that I have someone on my side. Zangetsu is a demon hunter from a land far to the east, in the tumult of a decade ago, perhaps even longer. Demons robbed him of everything precious to him, and he's despised everything to do with them since. His strength, however, is second to none. I saw it for myself. I could tell he was holding back, but he was a handful regardless. Maybe it was a lack of conviction that dulled his blade. Well, I'll be off then. I mustn't leave Anne alone for too long. Oh, my God.